So hello guys, welcome to this new video. Um, I'm gonna show you today my new smart rig that I've built in the past couple of weeks maybe. Uh, it's been in the program for quite a long time. It took me like four or five months just to try to understand what should I put in, what should I have, what should I build the, the cable that I need and everything. Um, so I've decided that it was time to do a proper one and I'm gonna show you now what I've got inside basically on this rack. So, um, as you can see, this is the front. I'm gonna show you later the back. I've unscrewed this so you can see better, but basically on top I've got a mini Mac and in here there would be a Mic Pro as well. And um, if, um, if I move this just for a second, what you can see here is a sound card. There is a, a switch on the bottom here. I will show you back from the back. Um, I've got a little power block here with USB port and other little bits. Um, that's another um, kind of like extension USB from the mini Mac uh, for other little stuff. I've got a router as well just to do a bit of things. So if I put this back here, I mean, so let me show you this from, uh, from the back. So basically, as I said, router, this is just like um, a junction box where I've got different cable inside. Um, and after in here, I've got um, a little like two way for, for socket, um, two USB for the two screen that I will have, and USB C just for charging the phone. Um, here is, um, you can see, is it like a USB thing you can see here, a USB that goes from my um, sound card to my mini Mac. Um, Three US, two, another two USB goes on here from one from the Stream Deck, another one is like a USB charger. But the plan is in case I want to do any multi track recording with like, I don't know, SQ desk or any other desk, I can easily do a, this straight from this USB port here because it's linked to my to my mini Mac. Um, this port in here is linked to these. Ethernet here that is for Dante, uh, and I've got another one that goes through here on here, as you can see, is on here, and this for uh, like the extra stuff that I can control. Because as we can see here, uh, let's start from the bottom. I've got all of these Cat Five port, I say Ethernet port. Let's call the proper name. Um, all of these these are basically main for. Um, control of the desk, um, RF, if I'm doing any RF work, I can put this in here, I can control the mic in, um, desk control, if I wanna put an SQ or any desk that I wanna, I wanna control these through my laptop or through my stream deck that I've got here, I can do from here. And it is for my TP-Link uh, mesh that I have, and this is an extra just in case I need to do any other bits. While this is for power this on, Basically, I can use these. I've got little things that helps me to power the Mac on. But I think, if I remember correctly, there's a function that as soon as the Mac recognizes the power, um, this will go straight on. So I'm working into it. I could have put like a proper case for it, uh, but I found out that it doesn't. if I want to fit a Mic Pro in, it will not fit inside. Uh, and I'm really keen to use a wireless mic for this, this rig. So I need this space to be able to put the Mic Pro in. Um, I've got two screen, two HDMI links, so one is here and another HDMI is here. I've got two flat screens that I'm going to put on the side of the rack. Um, other USB bits, so basically this is for the RF uh, Explorer that I carry with me sometimes, and this is just to charge my my phone, or even if I want to use the, like, uh, I don't know, like my, my iPad. Uh, and I will use that just to show the SPL during a gig. I can do it. So I can put the, the iPad on here, the two screen on the two side, uh, on the iPad on here, I can just show the, the SPL or whatever I want. Um, and on one, I can push smart, and on the other one, I can put just control of the PA. That, that's my plan, basically. All the other extra stuff, the RF control and the other bits are just in case... I do a lot of stuff, little gigs, and I want to use this rig. I can use this rig with, with the other stuff as well without carrying with me more stuff. That's why I, I decided to put a mini Mac inside for the reason that my laptop most of the time is just used to 
play things, play background music or play other kind of stuff that I want. So I want like something just dedicated to to this kind of job, basically. Um, yeah, so that's that's all the rig, as you can see. Um, I didn't add more stuff um, in the last couple of weeks. I don't know if you follow me on the on the live that I did on my YouTube channel. So the plan, as I say, is basically try to use this when I do a gig uh, with my, basically by myself. And let's say the company they call me, the production company, doesn't provide the, the, the rack with the smart and all the other bits I can do with all my kit without any problem, rather than carry these in a single Opeli case where I've got just all my bits. So this basically will be just a rack I carry with me when I know that I'm just by myself doing front of house, SC, anything I need to do, uh, and I've got everything ready to go. Uh, can take the measurement quite fast, and believe me, this happened more, quite a lot of time for me. Um, so I prefer, I decided it was the best idea for me just to build one rack with everything inside. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video of how this works with everything turned on. I don't think that I've got this, the other um, screen ready uh, to show, but I've got one screen. Uh, we can use the iPad just for as, as another screen if you want. But yeah, so I'm gonna show you now how is this one is uh, on basically and what we can do. We have got the rack out, full working. Test everything. I show you a bit of stuff that I have done on here. As I said before, that's the sound card. So you know what's happening inside. You know what I've got in. Uh, so at the moment I've got link one screen because I'm waiting to the other one to arrive and I've got this one that I normally use for home and I've got uh, smart at the moment on um, this is how it's gonna be basically it's gonna be one screen here another screen here basically this one with smart on this one is gonna be with the control PA in this case I've got like a, a show a DMB file and I use my iPad if I need to unmute or mute something if I go around the venue and do stuff for your steam view where I can do a lot of things basically uh, straight from there um, I've got a mouse with this with the keyboard mini Mac and all the stuff in here without any problem um, I've got my ref explorer here in case I need to do RF as well so I can do that uh, so basically on this on this machine what I have I've got R1 uh, to control what I need to do I've got array calc if I need to use array calc LA manager sound vision I've got QLab I've got touchstone pro so in case I want to do any scan boom Put this on and this is going to do start to do scan using the rf explorer this link with this usb straight to the rack um what else um i've got workbench if i want to use workbench in here so basically in case and i've got this leo software that is really useful i don't know if you can basically if you ever got another laptop link with you you have got the opportunity to speak with the other guy on the other side and just Say, oh, hello, whatever you want to do, and you send stuff. You can flash as well. Um, yeah, so basically, normally when I do, let's say, front of house, and I've got some of the new monitor, I'm doing, I don't know, um, RF things, and I've got something to talk about, and we don't have a shop box, or we don't want to use it, uh, I've got this link to the other machine on the other side. The only concern is everything needs to be network on the same network, but most of the time, that's what we, what we normally do. Um, so yeah, and I use the Stream Deck for quite a lot of stuff. As if you follow me for quite long, you know that I use the Stream Deck for everything. Um, and I've got basically little button here that will open me, I don't know, Smart. I can even open like uh, Sun Vision and other bits. Um, and yeah, it will take a bit of time because it's, it's not the fastest machine. Uh, I might upgrade one day, but for the moment is uh, is okay. So yeah, if I want to use these, I can use Sun Vision without any problem. Um, and if I want to open QLab other stuff, you know, if I want to use the controller of my sound card, I just press here and I've got control to my Octo. Um, so yeah, so basically this is what I have got in here. Um, at the moment, there is not mic, but in here there would be a wireless uh, mic. I'm going to buy a mic Pro. This is, this is getting quite hot actually. But I think should be okay. I mean, it's open. Nothing is closed on the front. So I think it should be pretty good. Uh, we will see. I'm going to test and see what's going to happen. Um, and on here, as I say, it's going to be a Mic Pro here. So I can use uh, a wireless, this mic, 
wireless if I'm gonna use it, and it's gonna be on channel number one. Um, and after on channel number two, if I wanna use another mic, I can use another mic as well. Um, that's it, basically. It's not much to, to say. It's just basically a little rack that I carry with me, and if I wanna do stuff, uh, basically I've got the opportunity to go here, and if I wanna look smart, smart will be here, I can see smart on here, if I wanna do any transform function, Basically, what I could do, I'm just gonna go on impulse and start uh, and take any measurement if I, even if I am in a, anywhere in in venue, basically. Um, so yeah, so that's it. Um, I'm gonna leave a link with all the stuff that is in the rack with the price as well. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna use at some point. I'm gonna use companion as well on here. Uh, so basically, the goal will be to use smart with companion from here so basically using shortcut and i don't know activated the noise generation uh, generator um uh, i don't know start the transform function uh, change the level of pink noise because i think you can do that increase or, or decrease uh yeah all of these little session i can do that without any problem and after these all will be always like all done with the with um companion so basically if i open companion and that's the page i'm gonna add whatever i need so i can control different bits from from here um there is actually if you go on companion and you say smart they have got a smart version number nine for the alley and for the suite as well so if you add this you need to activate the api so if you go on here and you go on uh, i think it's on preference yeah, it's API. But yeah, you do. You select the IP of your laptop. You put a password if you want to do that, and this will be green, and you will be able to control uh, different things from uh, from here. Actually, I think I can show you what um, what you can do because if I go here and I click on one, and I say regular bomb as a browser. And I go on smart. Let's see if I can zoom a bit in. There we go. Um, and yeah, that's the stuff for reset average, start signal generator, stop signal generator, set general uh, generator level. Yeah, there is a couple of stuff. Zoom, high trace, input small, SPL mode, blah, blah, blah. There is a couple of bits. Uh, am I going to be the profile and share uh, this profile with all of you? So we'll be ready to go. Um, so yeah, basically that's... Um, that's the whole uh, uh, rack that I've been building. So if you have any other question, I'm going to drop all the link of the stuff. But basically, it's just like uh, the Roland Capture, a mini Mac, uh, keyboard and mouse, uh, this little screen that would be two of these, my RF Explorer. There's a support for it that I will carry with me. Um, my measurement mic. For people that are asking, this is, let me see if I can show you. This is the EMX7150. Uh, so yeah, so that's it. So thank you for uh, for following and uh, see you on my YouTube channel for more videos like this.